What's going on, everybody? It's Mike Patton, a.k.a. The General. <laughs> Back at it again. Uh, just wanted to take a moment to address uh, one thing that has taken over the NBA landscape. Everyone talking about rest. Yes, players are resting during the season. And most notably, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love did not go to the, the Cleveland Cavaliers game. When they were playing the Memphis Grizzlies. Of course. Memphis fans were upset. There were just basketball fans in general. That are upset about. Players not. You know going to games. Traveling. Resting during the season. Well. The reason why. I think you all are upset. Which I'm not in a group that's upset. But. The thing is there's two different goals here. There's the goals of the fans and the goals of the teams. The goals of the teams are to win championships. Now, with some teams, there's realistic expectations when they're resting people. Uh, with other teams, there really isn't any realistic expectation uh, when they're resting people. That's one goal of the team when they're resting people during the season is to make sure that they're at peak performance when it counts and they can win that title. Uh, the second goal is, you know, when you have minutes restriction, like with uh, the big process, that I'm calling the process, I'm sorry, he calls himself the process, Joel Embiid, uh, in Philadelphia, is to actually make sure that he doesn't re injure himself there by resting him and things like that. You know, everyone says they're young, they're this, they're that, and all those type of things. While I understand that, You've got to understand that it is a business. It is a business, business, business first. And they're in the business. The NBA teams are in the business of trying to win championships, not to appease fans. Now, I do understand it on the opposite side for fans. Of course, you pay good money. You want to see players play. And I definitely understand. I understand the frustration. I understand being mad about it, all those type of things. But what we've got to also understand is there's a little message on your ticket. When you flip it over or you know, everywhere on, on the ticket, or it could be on the front, it could be on the back, it says, subject to change. Let me explain what subject to change means. Subject to change means that one player couldn't play, two players couldn't play, a coach could be out, anything could happen. The time could change as well. That's what that means. So when you're paying for a ticket, it doesn't exactly mean you're going to get everything you've hoped and dreamed for. It means you're paying for a game to watch. Or in this instance, the Grizzlies play the Cavaliers. Of course, you know, we can be mad about the product and talk about we're not going to games and things like that. But here's the thing. We watch NBA games. We buy NBA merchandise. We buy NBA players shoes. We buy NBA gear. In effect, we are supporting them without saying we are what you know, when people say they aren't supporting them, they're still supporting them because they're watching other games, they're buying the gear and doing things like that. So, you know, you could stop going to games and doing those type of things or whatever, but in some fact, form or fashion, you're either supporting a business that supports the NBA or you are supporting the NBA by buying the gear. Simple and plain. So for you know, that to change, of course, you would have to actually go from cold turkey. And I don't know many NBA fans are going to go cold turkey on their favorite NBA teams or anything like that. They can try, probably do it for a little bit, but eventually uh, they're going to go back to it. And it is what it is. Uh, you know, and I'm not saying I'm a fan either way of anything being done, but just explaining how the different thought process go between a fan and between an actual team. And that's how it is. Life in the NBA. Either we're going to love it or we're going to hate it. But the one thing I can guarantee is that resting players is not going away. Uh, Greg Popovich probably started it with the Spurs. Of course, he had older players at that time. But it's not going away. So as much as we complain about it and things like that, I don't see resting players going away. Do I see the NBA making a change? Maybe, but completely resting players is not going away. It just is what it is. 
and either we accept it or find another sport to watch. Simple and plain. This has been Mike Patton, a.k.a. The General. You can find my work on the Sports Awakening, www.sportsawakening.com. I'm out.